Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Christina, Ed, Carrie, nice to see you at their life. All right. Ah, happy Sunday. Those of you that are out there with me live, happy to see you. Um, so we're going to do drained power as usual. The next couple of Sundays today and next week and, and last week, I actually have to be somewhere at 11. I have to get to the yoga studio. So the prep class will just be a little bit shorter again, probably can get in like 50 minutes. Um, but just so you know, that's why I'm ending it a little bit earlier than I, I normally do. After a couple of weeks, um, I'll be fine. I've just got a couple of commitment I've got to get to the studio at. So we're going to move through journey into power. We're going to do it a little bit. Um, a little bit faster again, maybe not like maybe as fast as it was when I did that fast flow a couple of weeks ago, but moving through we'll call it like a yang and yin. So we'll get some movement in, warm up the body, and then we'll move into a little bit of um, some time down on the mat. Okay. So just listen to your body, take rest when you need it, challenge yourself as much as you can and see where it goes. Okay. We'll take child's pose, please. Knees wide. Sit back onto your heels. And right away, start to generate nice deep breaths, long inhales, long exhales through your nose. Breathe in. And breathe out. more here really giving yourself these first few moments to land fullest breath in fullest breath out Tabletop on your hands and knees. Exhale, cat. Let's just do one. Press the ground around, pull in. Inhale, cow. Look up, tailbone up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Ground your feet. Take up space here. Create that foundation through your hands and feet. Spread out. Press down. Long breath in, long breath out. One more, full inhale. Lengthen the back side of your body. And lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, look forward, step between your hands, come up to a flat back, and ragdoll. Feet wide, interlace the arms and just allow the upper body to dangle down. Find some space in your neck. Just let the weight of the head go. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more here. A little bit deeper. Fingertips to your mat, toe heel your feet to touch. On your next inhale, come up to a flat back. <clears throat> Fold. Extended mountain, sweep up, press your feet. Fold forward, squeeze your legs. Lengthen the spine. High plank, hold in high plank. Do that and create that straight line. So instead of your bum being up in the air, drop it down in line with the shoulders and the heels. Press all 10 fingers. Scoop the pit of your belly in and up. Full breath in. Full breath out. 
Soften the elbows. Find that bounciness in the arms, squeezing arm muscles to bones. Full breath in. Lower down, low plank. Upward facing dog. Point your toes back. Press the tops of your feet. Downward facing dog. Hips back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Nice long inhale. Long exhale. Two more. Press down. Pull the pit of your belly in. Lift onto your toes as you exhale, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Flat back. And fold. Extended mountain, sweep up. Fold. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop, step, walk to the top. Flat back. Fold. Extended mountain, go up and go back. Fold forward. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Bend your knees, empty out. Hop or step to the top. Flat back. And fold. Extended mountain. Go up and go back. Sit in the chair. Inhale. Sink a bit deeper. Lift the chest. Arm bones back. Fold. Squeeze your legs. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, right side. Step through, reach up. Stay for the exhale. Breathe in. Warrior two. Lunge. Breathe in. And breathe out. Flip and reverse, peaceful warrior. Hold for the exhale. Take one more big reach back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Warrior one. Breathe in. Hold it. Inhale. Warrior two. Full breath. Lunge deeper, reverse, peaceful warrior, hold, one more big breath, reach, stretch, chaturanga, dandasana, flow it out, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, full breath in, full breath out, two more. Press back your hips. In. Out. Lift. Bend. Hop. Flat. Fold. Chair. Just one breath. Fold. Lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing. 
Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Down dog. Left side. Big breath in. Open two. Reverse back. Chaturanga Dandasana breath. Blow it out. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Fullest inhale. Fullest exhale. Lift your heels. Bend your knees. Step to the top. Flat back. And fold. One more time. Chair. Fold. Lengthen. Flow. Staying with your breath. Full inhale. Lift the chest forward. Down dog. Exhale. Warrior one. Use the inhale. Sweep up. Exhale. Sink deep into warrior two. Reverse. Go back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Pull it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Big breath. Go for it. Open. Reverse. Fill. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Up dog. Take child's pose. Just three breaths. And land. Feel that vitality. The heartbeat. Deep in your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath here. Empty it out. And tabletop. Cat. Cow. Down dog. Lift. Bend. Get to the top. Flat back. Fold. Chair. Twist to the right. Press the palms. Hug the shoulder blades back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lengthen it. And twist. Lift your left heel. Shift the weight to that right foot. One more breath in here. Crescent lunge twist. Just lightly step the left toes back. Keep the upper body ringing out. Nice deep twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Hold it. Lengthen. Stay in twist. Warrior two. Open up. Land in the lunge. Sink down. Full breath in. Nice long stance. Wiggle into it. Lengthen through your fingertips. Soften through your shoulders. Breathe. Out. Again. Hold. Reverse. Extended side angle. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Sink down. Find like depth in that front leg. Reach the left fingers. Hold right here. Take another breath in. Plant the right hand down. Side plank. Step the right foot back. Lift up your hips. Lift up your left leg. Find your full expression. If you can lift that top leg, go for it. We're going to move to wild thing. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. One more breath right here. Bend the left knee. Step the left foot behind you. So you're on your left tiptoes. And then reach left arm forward. Start to press the right hip up as much as you can. So like that pinky toe edge of the right foot on the ground. Right hip lifting. Take a big breath. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. 
upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Ah, big breath in, big breath out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, flat back, and fold, chair, and twist to the left. Activate upper body, core, shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Finding strength in the leg muscles, hug, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, full breath in, full breath out. Shift more weight to the left foot, get light on that right foot, lift the right heel, inhale, crescent lunge, twist, step back, keep the front knee nice and deep, keep the back heel nice and high, squeeze in, inhale. Twist the upper body as much as you can. Full breath in, full breath out. One more, lengthen it and twist. Warrior two, open up. And take up that longer stance. Wiggle that front foot forward and then descend down. Shoulders melt down the back. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, and exhale, two more, steady gaze, steady breath, hold it, reverse, extended side angle, breathe in, and breathe out, reach up, Twist open, take another breath in, hold for the breath out, last one, reach, and then plant down, left hand, step back, the left foot, side plank. Keep active through your core muscles here, lifting up the hips, lift the right leg, find full expression, so not rushing to the next pose, really be here in side plank, lift and expand, big breath in. Big breath out, one more. Bend the right leg, step it behind you on your right tippy toes. Left pinky toe edge of the foot, press it down. Start to lift that left hip bone. Breathe in and breathe out. Take it higher, more reach through the right fingers. One more breath, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out, lift onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, and fold. Let's take Malasana, feet wide. Let's take your feet as wide as you can here. Not as wide as you can, as wide as your mat. Toes torn out. Come down into a squat. If you need palms on the ground, this is an option, okay? If you want to take it a little bit higher, you're going to start to bring hands to your heart center. So pressing elbows into the inner thighs or the knees. Pressing knees or inner thighs into the elbows. Create that connection. And then sitting up nice and tall. Lift the crown of your head high. Pull the pit of your belly in. Close your eyes. Just breathe for five. Squeezing, feel that elbows, knees pressing into one another. Palms pressing, heart lifting. Three. Two. Breathe in. Stay for the breath out, hands to your mat, keep your feet where they are, slowly press your hands and then lift your hips up, no rush, oh, feel your knees and your inner thighs, just sway from side to side gently, let go of your head, and breathe in, and breathe out, toe heel, the feet back to touch, 
Big toes are almost touching heels wider than the big toes. Come up to a flat back. And fold. Extended mountain. Sweep up. Take eagle on the right side. Right arm under. Right leg over. Sink down in that left knee. Move in here. Squeeze in. Sit down as deep as you can. Take an inhale. Elbows lift up. And then dip down. Sleeping eagle. Hinge. Elbows to knees. Don't drop the elbows. Hinge at the waist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze. Hold here. Airplane. Unravel. Press the right heel back. Lift up through your sternum, the center of your chest, your collarbones. Lift forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Expand it. Hands to heart center. Open to half moon. Lift that right hip up. You can drop the left hand to the mat, or you can hover maybe. Play with what's possible. Breathe in. If you fall out, you come right back. Lift your right ankle. Hold here. Squeeze. Take one more breath. Expand it. Feet together. Fold. Halfway lift. Hug your legs. Sweep up. Eagle. Left side. Squeeze in. Breathe in. Sink down. Elbows up nice and high. Shoulder blades plug back. Keep the upper body in that alignment. And then hinge forward. Elbows to knees. Pull in. Breathe in. Nice and tight here. Airplane. Unravel. Go back. Take a breath in. Lift that back heel. Lift your collarbones. A little back bend in the upper body. Squeeze your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more here. Hands to heart center and open to half moon. That bottom foot at 12 o'clock. Find that. Ooh, and then set it up. Expand. Press down. Pull in. Lift up. Hold it, full breath in, full breath out. One more biggest pose, and then feet together, fold. Halfway lift, fold forward. Sweep up. Tree. Right side. Ground down, pull in. Feel that full belly to spine. Shoulders to your back. Grow your tree. Release your fingers today and press your palms up. Shoulder blades drop back and down. Lift the chest. Squeeze in. Fullest inhale. Fullest exhale. One more big, big breath. Release, hands to heart center. Tree on the left, set it up. Scoop the tailbone down. Pull the pit of the belly in and grow. Interlace your hands again, press the palms up to the ceiling. You can take your gaze up past your thumbs. Inhale, core is strong. Stabilize through the trunk of your tree. Squeeze it in, three. Two. One more big, big breath. Expand it and release. Hands by your side. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Press your feet. Soften your knees. Tailbone descends as the front of the pelvis lifts up and then engage the core. Shoulders back. Lengthen right up to the crown of your head. Feel that full body and integration. Inhale. Exhale. Arms up. Extended mountain and then fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. 
Breathe in, breathe out, right foot, warrior one, reach up, warrior two, trikonasana, straighten the front leg, come down, you can grab a prop if you want it, block under the fingers or it can be palm to shin, just lifting up out of that right side body, reach the left fingers, breathe in, twist, full inhale, Full exhale, again, open it up. Take one more big breath, stay here, and then bring the hands down. Pyramid, step your left foot in part way. Both feet facing forward, that back foot might be turned out a bit. And press your feet. Press the front foot so much that you feel your right hip go back a little bit, like waking up that hamstring on the right side. Breathe in. Let go of the upper body. Inhale. Exhale. Knees are soft. Legs are strong. Feel the muscles of the legs engaged by pressing through the four corners of both feet. Let the upper body go. Keep your left hand on the mat here. Now lengthen the upper body. Twisted triangle. Left hand down. You can have it on the ground or a block. Reach right fingertips up to the ceiling or right hand on your lower back, lengthening the whole spine, feel it. And then twist right shoulder blade back. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen, twist. One more big breath in, stay for the twist out. Hands to your mat, inhale, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, warrior one, left side, warrior two, trikonasana, straighten the leg, come forward and down, palm to shin or fingertips to a block, legs are soft, what you're not doing is locking out, hyperextending the knees, keep that buoyancy to the legs, malleability to the joints, reach up, Lean back, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, two more, keep twisting, keep leaning, open, one more breath in, stay for your breath out, hands to the mat, pyramid, step the left foot, sorry, right foot in part way, and then fold over the left leg, breathe in, press, your left foot down and lengthen the back of your left leg. Feel the stretch. Inhale. You can let go of the upper body for this pose. Don't hold up your head. Feel space in the neck, the thoracic spine. It's like really feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Press your feet down. Halfway lift. Twisted triangle, right hand stays on the ground, left hand to your lower back, or reach it up to the ceiling. Keep lengthening the torso, and then deepening the twist. Breathe in, breathe out, reach, and twist. Fullest inhale, fullest exhale. One more, hold the twist, stay and then release hands to your mat. Step back, high plank. Lower all the way down, locust pose. Right away, when you tap the ground, pop up. Arms back, legs lift. Breathe in. You can take locust with the hands beside the body or go for the bound locust, your choice. Knuckles back, collarbones lift up higher. Create a back bend. Inhale, exhale, two more. Squeeze your core muscles, take it higher, big breath in, and release. Take one ear to your mat. And just rest for a moment. Sway your hips from side to side. Switch ears, other ear to the floor. Long breath in. Long breath out. Again.
chin to center, floor bow, bend your knees, reach back for your ankles, and then take it up. Kick back. Knees and ankles hug towards center. Create that connection to center line. Squeeze it in as you kick up. Inhale. Exhale. For three. For two. Go a little bit higher. Squeeze. Hold. One more breath in. Come all the way down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step to the top of your mat. Go right into bridge or wheel. One here, just one back bend. So take it fully. Whatever your body's feeling it needs. Go up for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Expanding the peak of your practice. Go right into your fullest expression for four. Three. Two. And one, nice and slow, come down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Climb butterfly. Butterfly of the legs, feet together, knees wide. Right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable. Just take rest, soften, breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Again, open your mouth, let it go. Knees into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Happy baby, grab the outsides of the feet. Knees down towards the armpits. Hmm. Soften your spine into the floor. Just let the tailbone, the lumbar spine, the lower back melt down. If you're still here, it's called bed bug. If you want to sway, happy baby, just like massaging out the low back a little bit more. And the more you press your spine into the floor, the more release you'll feel here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hug your knees in. And we're gonna move into frog on our back. So taking basically the same form in the legs, only now your shin bones, your calves parallel to the floor. Feet facing the front of your mat. Turn your toes out to the right and left side. Different options here. You can take your, your um, triceps on the ground and place your hands to the outsides of your knees or your thighs to hold up some of the weight of your legs here. Just making like a little prop. This is gonna be the, less, the least intense. Other option would be just to bring the hands to the inner thighs and kind of lengthen out through the groin. So drawing out and down, create a little bit more in the hip flexor. If you want like the most stretch here, you'll take hands to the outsides of the shins, wrap the fingers around the shins and just let the weight, your arms will kind of be off the ground and the weight of the arms will pull down and out a bit more. We're gonna hold here. I'll give the spoiler alert, like we're gonna flip over and do full frog in a couple minutes, but this is like a great way to start to open the legs. And if you need to stay here when we flip over, then just stay. This can also be done with the feet against a wall. If you have access to that in your space, you can press the soles of the feet into a wall for more support. And if you're like just really not feeling frog today, you can move through half pigeon. If that's what your body really needs, just like check in if it's what your body needs or if it's what your brain wants instead of feeling the sensations of frog pose because it's definitely different different opening different experience still have five more breaths here if you feel a little bit of shaking that's okay if you need to change the variation and maybe take the hands now to the outer thighs again with the, the triceps down you can support the legs brings a little bit more work into the arms and some of the work out of the legs 
the three. Two. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly guide the knees together. Don't rush that. Feel the sensations. Just let your feet come down to the ground. Let your knees fall side to side. Just gently a couple times to each side. And then we'll move into full frog. So just grab the backs of your knees, rock a couple times to get yourself up to sit. And if you need to roll up the ends of your mat or roll your mat lengthwise, like you can give yourself that bit of extra padding. I don't need it because I'm on carpet here. So taking the knees wide, settle down into it. So like wide knees, keeping the same alignment we just had on our back. So you're not pointing the toes backwards, keep them feet flexed, toes pointing to either end of your mat. And keep your feet, they're not out too wide. You want ankle in line with the knee, okay? And then knee in line with the hip. So not sitting too far forward, not sitting too far back. Keep that alignment. You might be like palms. This can be frog right up here on your, on your hands, right? You can come down to forearms. You can come all the way down to your belly, to your forehead, to your stacked hands. And just find the right place. Like this can be an intense pose, but breathe into those sensations. And just surrender to gravity here. Nice deep breaths. Long inhale. Long exhale. Be here for couple of minutes. Yeah. It's a couple of minutes. So just breathing into it. And it's a bit longer holds in some of these poses, like we're moving more into the focus of yin rather than the yang. The vinyasa is more of a yang practice, like the fire intensity. And just to be clear, I get that there can be intensity in a yin pose, intensity of sensations, intensity of thoughts. I know sometimes my mind can start screaming at me when I'm holding a pose where there's a lot of discomfort. But the principles of Yen really working with just allowing time to move the pose into a different experience. So not rushing out of it, not running away from the discomfort, being with it. Still breathing, of course. And it doesn't have to be with Jai breath, that fiery breath. It can be more natural gentle breathing, but just intentional. And really allowing the pose to be at its edge. So not sitting back where there's no sensations, not taking the variation where nothing's happening, but finding the edges where the sensations are present, but not painful. You're not suffering through it. You're not enduring it. Just breathing through it. Being with it, just being. Check in after a couple minutes that we've been here, you might find you can go a little bit deeper. can stay then stay needing to come out of the pose because there's the risk of injury there's a risk of straining something that's different than not wanting to stay through to the end not always a good thing to do something you don't want to do and sometimes it really is a very empowering practice to step into things that might be uncomfortable might not be your first choice Building resiliency, accessing new possibility, new perception. Breathe in, breathe out. One more fullest breath, whole 
hold it right here. And then no rushing to come out, okay? So bring your hands by your armpits and just come up onto your palms first and slowly start to bring the knees in a bit closer. And you'll come onto your sit bones here, legs out in front of you. Let's just take a staff pose for a moment here. So the legs straight out in front of you, toes face the ceiling. And then hands on either side of your hips. You're going to press the floor, but the intention is not to lift your bum off the ground, okay? Just bring activation. Press down through all 10 fingers. Lift up through the crown of the head, through the chest. Lift high. And then shoulders back. So you're not rolling the shoulders forward and creating that C in the spine, that C shape. You want to create it like a nice, tall, long spine. Shoulder blades back. Breathe in. Flex your toes towards your chest and press your heels away from you. This is a really simple pose, but it can be very active if you bring that engagement. Skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, hold it. Arms up, release the tension in the arms, reach them up. And then fold forward. If your sit bones are tucked under, if your tailbone's tucked under, just kind of wiggle it back out of the way. And then now really rounding forward. Pull the crown of your head towards your toes. Breathe in. And breathe out. Full inhale. Full exhale. Again. One more, breathe in. Go deeper. Come up to sit. Bring yourself down onto your back. And we'll move into waterfall. Feet up. You can prop a block underneath your spine. I'm just going to use my hands today, taking the hands to either side of the tailbone. Just giving something to keep the legs lifted a bit easier. You don't have to use as many muscles then and let the legs kind of soften. There's still some muscles working or your legs will just fall to the ground, but don't use as, so don't use, I'm gonna say use as little strength as you need to. Just working in a release, shoulders on the ground. Kind of gently press the back of your skull down to bring some support to the neck even more. Focus your thoughts here. If your mind starts to wander in these last moments of your practice, do the work of being present. That's really the work of this practice. The poses are a tool. The breath is a tool. Physical awareness to ground you into this moment that you're breathing in. The only moment you're actually living in. Five more. Long inhale. Long exhale. Bend your knees. Let your feet dangle for a minute. Make some circles with your ankles and wiggle out your toes. Feet down to your mat. Shift your hips over to 
the right a little bit and drop your knees over to the left, supine twist. The arms can be cactus or extended out beside you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Long inhale. Long exhale. One more time. Knees to center. Lift your hips up, shift them over to the left, and then drop the knees to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. Stay here. And just one more breath. Take your deepest twist. Center. Bring your tailbone to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Lift the shoulders, forehead to your knees. Really pull it as tight as you need to right here. Squeeze. And then release. Final Shavasana. Close the eyes. And let your body land in stillness. Deep rest. from Journey to the Heart. Your dreams are important. A woman told me about a dream she had, one that was bothering her deeply. What do you think it means, she asked. I don't know, I replied. Besides, it doesn't matter what I think. The important thing is what you think. What's it telling you? We dream two kinds of dreams, waking dreams and sleeping dreams. Both are powerful forms of consciousness. Our sleeping dreams, the images that dance in our minds while we sleep, hold the many clues of life, growth, the future, the past, healing, and our connections with others. They may reveal suppressed emotions. They may be bits and pieces of prophecy. They may be symbols of truths we're about to learn. Our waking dreams are important too. We go about daily with our expectations, wants, desires, hopes. Our hearts plan for the future. We may not express these dreams. We may not even realize we are superimposing them on our lives, much the same way we can forget what we dream when we sleep. There's power in allowing ourselves to become conscious of our dreams. What are, are our dreams telling us about what we want, fear, hope for, desire? Expressing our dreams will connect us to our consciousness and a higher consciousness. Expressing them will connect us to the creative force. Tapping into our dreams help us tap into creativity. Creativity for our lives, creativity for projects, the powerful creative force of the universe. There's power in dreaming, whether we're asleep or awake. Take time to honor and express your dreams.
Some deep breath in. Some deep breath out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch. And with the eyes closed, bring yourself up to sit. Hands at heart center. Sit tall. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take a deep inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Thumbs to your forehead center. And the dreams in me acknowledge the dreams in you. Honor them. We bow together. Thank you. Have an awesome rest of your day. I will be back next week. And um, yeah, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, and stay connected to a daily mindfulness practice. Um, if you are not already cooking with me out there, check out my new website, plantbasedfoodbites.com. It's at the top of the description. I do virtual cooking classes, and they're happening every Thursday, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, different theme each week. And you can register for those on the website under community classes. I would love to see you in your kitchen, actually get to see your face and connect with you. Um, and yeah, we can cook together. Have an awesome rest of your day. I will see you again soon. Uh, Mr. B is off sleeping somewhere, and I'm just not going to question that. It was nice for him to be relaxing this morning. Pleasure, Ed. Christina, have an awesome Sunday, everybody. If you're watching this later on, have an awesome rest of whatever day it is that you're in. Take care.